Hey folks, addicted to stocks, I'm a hobby trader. In today's video, I want to give you an update about a new tax law that is coming into effect on the 1st of January 2023, and it will affect non US citizens if you're trading limited partnerships, but also ETNs and ETCs. So let's have a closer look. Stay tuned. So as a result of the recent US legislation under the name Internal Revenue Code Section 1446F, uh, publicly traded partnerships will be subject to a 10% withholding tax um, starting 2023 and it will affect all non-US tax residents. If you're from the US, you're lucky, however, unfortunately, also Uncle Sam will now come to us and how does it look like so as far as i understand it these 10 percent are based on the net realized value for instance you have a stock uh, 100 shares and they're valued ten thousand dollars these 10 percent apply to the ten thousand dollars so it is a significant amount and for practical reasons i would say stay away from these stocks and etns etcs Let's have a look uh, which stocks, ETNs, ETCs will be affected. And I have a nice website where from interactive brokers, which actually um, show all the uh, products which are involved uh, with this new 10% withholding tax. So I'll post that link of this website from Interactive Brokers. And here it's also in detail explained. Again, for more information, you can also uh, press on the link here and this will affect primarily um, yeah, dividend investors who are focused on these limited partnerships. Famous one for instance is BEP Brookfield Renewable Partners. Um, unfortunately also other ones are these commodity ETCs like sugar, like corn or also natural gas. Boil here is a famous one. And also what is very unfortunate that these volatility ETNs, UVXY and SVXY are affected. Um, however, not VXX for some reason. And um, yeah, so just make sure that you're not involved in these positions. However, it is it has to be said that derivatives like options, you, can, uh, you still can uh, trade them without any limitations regarding this new tax law. So, so far, this was just my understanding. I just wanted to make sure you're aware of this. And for, again, more research, for more information, check out this website uh, or get some professional um, uh, tax advisor who might help you here because I'm not a tax advisor. So I hope that video helped and hope to see you next time. Bye.